G'day guys, welcome to Deb, and we're back in Group A to watch the champion of the last tournament continue his progress. 5 to Tadessa from Russia, he's playing as Finland, and he's going to fight Framaz, and he's a replacement for Roma the Beast, who is inactive, and he's got the Anzacs. And why the hell does the Anzacs have a New Zealand flag? Um, yeah, we don't, particularly Australians don't go to bed with sheep at night. And we are a lot larger, so I'm not sure why that trumps the Australian flag. So just go, please fix that. As a soul score from Tedessa coming with uh, the, the nice SMGs, the semis. It opens up on the digger. So I think it was the digger. Diggers, I guess, these are the third tier. So veteran rifleman left. Massive amount of finish troops firing on this lone digger. And he is doomed. Center point from a few spotters from Tedessa, but now he's going to potentially send his assault squad to the left to flank the non existent troops. So none of them actually sent guys to the center. Uh, left side, Fremaz gets it with the overwhelming majority of forces. Tedessa didn't even send one guy. Fremaz coming to flank the center point of Deb. Rifle shot is on mark for that one guy to the next shot. Oh, this guy is accurate as hell. But he's now dispatched by a grenade as the baby cries in the background for that SMG. And here is 5 to Tedessa with the rifle in Molotov that doesn't hit at all. Another guy to hit this time and does put him away. And going another assault squad down the center. So he's consolidated the center now. And also the right side looks, uh, yeah, pretty good. Some guys in good ambush positions behind the sandbag. And Framas has a few spread of troops there to spot any sneaky sneakies from occurring. Framas also has a guy up on this hill, potentially to ambush any of the forces going to attack the eastern, but potentially a flank here from Tedessa. Nope, Tedessa's going to just use that uh, guy to spot. But let's see the action in the center as Framas comes in with a full assault squad. A few guys at Tedessa's four troops are ready just to spot, but... Uh, Getting dispatched quite quickly. Wow, that guy shot the Owen gun full on. Uh, holding down the trigger. One rifleman left. And definitely is doomed. He's outnumbered as hell. Tedessa does have some a second line, I guess, behind this one. Which will hold the center. So looking okay. The left side, Tedessa, is pushing in with a few SMGs. Not too much holding. May get through. Oh, these rifles are looking pretty good and has uh, been dispatched so he holds on to at least one flag Tedessa now using the decline to run up and throw grenades that's an 80 grenade Grandma is trying to get in both of them microing the grenades so in the meantime Tedessa is ticking up 9 to 0 no escalation yet. We got Fremaz going and Assault Squad. And finally now is capping the Eastern Point. So Fremaz, um, not sure if you've seen him play. He was in the last 2v2 tournament. And played a lot uh, in team games before that. With the competitive community. And has proven to, to be a very good player in team games. But hasn't actually proven himself yet in a 1v1 tournament. Or any tournament in that regard. But uh, I think he has the guns to actually... Uh, fight off with the best players, but may lack the experience. But here's the scout car from Mr. Fremaz. He's got the uh, this one over here, the Desert Patrol. AT rifle already being fired from somewhere. I hear it. Oh no! Look at that small top and everything that's stuck in the tree. And the casualty there. Look at that tree. Two trees as casualties. I'm just casting on Greenpeace's behalf right now. So there's some moving in with lightning speed now on the eastern point. Put that uh, Sumi M31s. And in the back coming in with, uh, I think, a regular squad. But here's also a flak 38 20 mil from Tedessa. <laughs> There's a lot of assault troops behind. Doesn't this guy shoot all the way down? Looks like he can, kinda. As now he's pushing him to consolidate the three cap. 
not much uh, being bought yet for both players. Just trying to micro the infantry to use what they have, make efficient use of the troops that they have so far. Flak now moving this position for some reason. And three cap is still on. 23 to 0. Tedessa looking very strong. Only another assault squad from Framaz. Nothing of threat. Nothing to take at that 20 mil stills. And another. This looks like a. Oh, it looks like it's an elite marksman squad, I think. So what's he saving for? He's got uh, no MP. He's probably waiting for maybe the. Hmm. The Bofors, uh, Desert Rat, can't be the Bofors, maybe the 4.2 Mortar. He really hasn't got anything to take at the flak. It's not saving for anything to take at the flak either. This is going to be a disastrous uh, game for Mr. Fremers, it seems. Odessa, sending more reservists to the right. As um, Fremers is making a move on it now. He's got the numbers. Reservists now moving in. A lot of backup forces coming in from us now with one guy with the grenades. And we're going to take... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that was fast. That is one fast vehicle. BA-10 coming in. We're going to start cleaning up all these forces. Hitting many trees. Grenades are flying, but not hitting its mark. It's too fast for the grenades. And... Oh, AT buff for the boys right over here. Uh, stopped it in its tracks. Boom. Can't seem to kill it. Oh, no. No scoped by the white death. <laughs> AT rifle. Unlucky for Fremaz, as he had the perfect side shot, and unfortunately the, the number generator just said no to no to it, as he's uh, gone scot-free now. Coming out scot-free, escapes slaughtering the troops. Let's see where White Death is right here, Simo Haya, using that uh, big giant tree as some cover. Two giant trees, in fact. Uh, coming back up for a second, it seems. Greedy, BA-10. Grandma's just uh, pushing up for what he can. SASR. Uh, fourth tier coming in. Uh, the counter coming from the stack out. This is the 37mm stack out. The 50-50 play, perhaps. Well, look at versus lightning fast as well. Bounces in the stack out. A decent armor misses a shot. Stack out takes a shot and finishes off the BA-10 finally. And now it's a stack out stone. This is a light vehicle infantry killing. But uh, interesting to see. Wonder what that flak is though. That flak may have something to say for that. It is turning. It's waiting for it. But uh, I don't think Kramas will get up the hill. Oh, he is actually going to get up the hill. Oh, it's been. No! <laughs> White Death though is a victim of a destruction derby kill right over here. Got run over. But one, two, it was actually right. It's uh, questionable whether he got run over by four wheels. Because if he was, the stack and could have actually ran over with him well, that wheel, that wheel, that wheel. So he was crushed on his legs and his head. Can't survive that. Uh, no one can survive that. Not even seen a higher Fremaz. Coming in with uh, Elite Squad. Now. 85 to 0, he really needs to come back here. He's taken out some expensive units like the White Death. And perhaps this is the comeback time. He's got a lot of special points up his sleeve as well. Now what has he got? He's got the Anzacs out. Uh, the Anzacs would just be the regular squad, I'm guessing. The SS SASR is the elite here. Oni. SMG. Twenty millimeter. So the point being pounded now by a two pounder Matilda. Well, let's see, <laughs> Matilda, I guess the classic Matilda with a two pounder. I keep uh, thinking there's all sorts of varieties added to this mod, but uh, this is a classic one. It's a different skin, it seems, or. Well, it looks like a different skin, I can't remember. To be honest, Default haven't played Default for ages. Now it's going for the target here, which is that black. 
Yeah, pretty eager shot there. <laughs> Shoots at the sandbag. Next shot though. It's a very accurate gun. Hits its mark. Takes out the crew. One of the crew. And second shot. Easy. Put away on that flak. This is a big turnaround now, I suppose. Ramaz on the scoreboard. Evening the odds right now. He's actually above Tedessa on the kill counts. But Tedessa is now out markering him on this flag. And he's going to take that back. 91 to 0. Center also was uh, in contention. But he... Oh, scout car. From Framaz, fortunately not being able to maneuver its way from the rocks, but here it comes for a flank. Finish uh, infantry, not the greatest to kill vehicles, especially with their AT guns. Oh, destruction derby. <laughs> veterancy, they gain veterancy from that one. Now, recapping that point. 93-0, Tedessa got a bit of points from that one, but the flag t count is now neutral until this guy caps it and is sending reinforcements of a militia kind. Nothing from Tedessa coming anytime soon, so it looks like we may get in the scoreboard. I've heard AT rifle, but the scout car is doing a fantastic job at the moment, mowing down many troops, even the AT rifle, four border Jaegers down. Wow, this desert scout car is deadly, very particularly deadly once it gets through the lines. It has just, I think, 50 cows or 30 cows. Yeah, 50 cows all the way. Oh, wow, what a shot. Look at that. It's miss getting, it's missing everything. Wow, look at it. It's clean the entire map. BT5 missing everything. This scout car is... Wow, sheesh. <laughs> oh, no. It's cleaned up the entire map. This is pure on Anzac light vehicle madness right now. BT-5 with such an accurate gun as well, I'm able to lay a shot on the hull of this vehicle. It's not actually like a normal light. It's like a freaking hard track. You can just penetrate it with an AP shell. You don't need a HE shell to kill it. Even an AT rifle. So I'm not sure why scout cars do so well. I've seen it do well in, in the previous game as well. And I question why, how did it got, get through? Probably it's a combination of its speed, its low profile and just uh, this three, 350 cows is doing so much damage before the enemy can actually shoot back. Well, let's see, are there many, many angles on this? Perhaps maybe the AT rifle struggles because there's angles. Not really, it's particularly flat on the side, like very flat. Only the front perhaps, and maybe a few right angles here and there. I can see uh, now, I think it's a tawny squad out from Tedessa. Comes with two snipers, MGs and just a lot of elite troops. BT-5 now really struggling to get a shot on that scout car and it's rolling down the <laughs> hill. This is unbelievable. Look at it. It's going mad. It's going to even go for a second one. Oh, oh. Tawny detachment Jaeger. Panzer Shrek will not miss. The elite of the Finnish forces has put an end to such nonsense. Tedessa has a sniper as well. Oh, sorry, that's a tawny sniper, my bad. Matilda pounding away on the tawny squad. Now he's making a move, splitting out his forces carefully as he does usually. Sniper's not yet. Looks. Tedessa uh, takes the time, as you can see, to actually make efficient use of your tro troops sometimes. And the good thing about that is that he doesn't waste troops or clump them up too much. But. Uh, the bad thing about that, it's slow to make an impact, as so right now he's got quite a few units at the backfield just waiting to be deployed, waiting to be microed. On the western point, we have uh, the Tawny guys, so they're still Tawny squad. Such a big squad for the... F uh, how much special points? Four special points or the five? I think it's the five special points. BT5 still at the back. Definitely no match for the Matilda, that's why he's gone all the way here, back here. All Econ right here as well. So BT5 needs to make a move, like probably far, try fire shot, run back. Sniper from the Tawny takes one infantry, Matilda coming to protect. BT5 going to run away. There isn't AP fire shotting anymore, so the BT5 is safe once it's out of range. Which is indeed, uh, it is. 110, I think, believe, is the two pounder range. We now have uh, some sort of uh, vehicle, sorry, AT gun. Uh, Bofors, 37mm Bofors, not sure, I guess that's just to kill the Olicon. 
Perhaps he just needs that. Uh, he needs the artillery that the Finland that Finnish can field. Oh, holy combo! This is it. oh, he hits its mark, and the second shot misses. It's only got oh no, AT, no HE shells left. Perhaps, and uh, Matilda, the two pounder gun, so strong, we'll be able to put this away. And Matilda, so instrumental in this game to counter all the infantry killers, being and uh, at the same time being so impenetrable to the enemy. And it's quite interesting, interesting to see that how Finland is struggling to take out the, the Matilda. There are options though, they've got that uh, Panzer J, which has the hand cranked turret. It's like the Panzer H, but with the hand cranked turret. They have the Stug, but uh, I guess a bit too expensive for Tedessa to save for at this stage. Oh no, Sniper! Oh, wow, that was cutting it close. Just survives that uh, Olicon. Tony Detachment MG will not. So the options are limited now. It doesn't uh, have anything to kill that Olicon. And you can see there are a lot of diggers. 30 a squad for the Anzacs. Uh, this side is pretty well guarded, you can say. And it looks like yeah, Tedessa may, I think, hold on to his uh, left hand side point quite okay. What is this? This is the answer the artillery. Nice. Okay, this is what he needed. One of the Finnish units that are quite OP. It's um, an artillery piece which rather light but can fire quite fast and bombard the enemy with from pretty pretty far ranges, so it's safe. Nothing can be countered, but it looks like Framas has noticed he's pinged the area just to get to slot Ah oh, Tulip! <laughs> counted! Tedessa was counted. Uh, and no, no, the sub, the the Russian, the Russian bear is not looking good right now. Two thousand five hundred to Fremes, three hundred points in the lead in terms of kills. Uh, though Tedessa has quite a bit of time up his sleeve, ninety-three to thirty-three. So Tedessa can maybe save his way out of this. He plays a bit patient. The centre is untakeable right now with the Matilda there and all these Anzacs. A lot of CP will be held, I guess, from Framas. He's got the Matilda and the Staghound, so he probably won't be able to afford Infantry Killer at the same time. All, all I guess um, yeah, Tedessa really needs is that maybe that Panzer J might be the one to go. And take out the tulip if he gets closer. BT5. Or BT5 can do a charge on there. What does Framas get now? Wow, he can afford an Olicot. <laughs> he must be, yeah, there. He's CP tied now. And he doesn't have too much infantry, but you don't really need too much infantry if you can have an Olicon. Banks back and smack in the middle of the center and the western point, and can hold that for eternity, really. Oh, Tedessa is going full on 50, or not 50 50, I guess, uh, charging BA 10. Matilda is not one of those tanks that's easily flanked because it's so strong in armor all around, and the two pounder gun is so fast and so accurate that yeah, any sort of light vehicle charge is bound to be doomed. Matilda. They say, is this the hero of the game? This particular game, that is. Or match, should I say? So there's a Bordiegas. Panzer Shrek. Now he's going to rely on some infantry to kill the tanks. And all the kind in a good position to defend that Matilda. But he has pushed quite well into this flag. And he's now capping it back. And the problem now for, that's the problem with uh, what Fremaz has in the field, he's got too much units. Oh! That's nasty. Takes out many elite tier troops, but there's still enough here to hold for a while. But yeah, I'll certainly say it's a problem what uh, Fremaz has right now, is fielding enough infantry and good infantry because of the CP cost that all these uh, particular vehicles 
have uh, are using. So Tedesa is able to numerically uh, have the advantage of infantry. So down here we'll have more infantry throwing grenades and better infantry. But this Olicon now can't actually shoot down there. It's going to get into a better position perhaps uh, straight down bank centre. Just so it can shoot all the way down, then I'll be okay. Because right now it's imp impotent to kill these Finnish troops down below. From us now, Michael moves way in, sending as well militia squad to try help out. Olicon now moved more frontally, but still has no rain over the western point. It's also even a three cap here from from Tedessa. Oh no, from Maz. It's not looking good for from Maz now. A very good comeback with unit counters, but Tedessa able to. Hustle his way in with just uh, just the infantry. You can see to this only has a BT-5 and is able to just overwhelm the flags, avoiding all the expensive units. And that's over. It's 98.42. The champion has pulled a rabbit out of his hat. Even the tulip now is going destruction derby and flips. Oh, he flips. Let's see if it dies. I want to see it explode. Boom! Finish grenade does nothing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, die, stay until die. GG, guys. Um, well done to Tessa.